The just tattoo of us beef was well done last night when Jack's girlfriend got revenge in her inking. In case you missed it, here's Charlotte Crosby and Scotty T with all the juice. Oh, pass me the horseradish sauce, will you? There was a girl and a lad who came in, right, and the girl, like, loved sex, like, 24-7, like she was a pure nympho. And he didn't really want to be and with he her. Did, he didn't really want to be with her because it was weird. So she got a title on him with a big wedding cake scene. He, he was so angry because I just oh, think... Oh, bless he, the girl, though. She was, like, she was so cute. He was so nasty to her. I think he deserved that tattoo. He was a dick. Kanye West's got nudes, but they're not of himself, which is or isn't a shame, depending on your preference. Yep, Kanye's woken up from his nap and tweeted a load of snaps to celebrate the launch of Yeezy 500 Supermoon yellow sneakers. And whilst I'm totally here for his vision, shot by Eli Russell Lynette, I'm kind of confused by some of the pics. This poor model must have lost her earring mid-pose. We've all been there. This one's got a stone in her shoe, so annoying. And these two, well, yeah. They're stark bollock naked. Kanye shared 34 pics in total featuring Kim Kardashian lookalike model Layla Starr, Kristen Noel Crawley and Bad Girls Club alumni, the Claremont twins. Oh, and by the way, sorry if you're watching this at school, work or on a train. Oh God, there's someone looking at your phone over your shoulder. Hiya! Little Mix star Jade Thurwall was almost accidentally killed by her boyfriend. Babes, we need LM5. You can't die, okay? So here's what happened. Jade's boyfriend Jed was chatting at Download Festival and said he almost killed Jade during a ride at Dollywood. The couple goals were apparently riding on a water ride at the theme park in Tennessee when they sped around a corner on a floating mattress type situation and Jed explained it wasn't on rails, it was like floating, so your life was in your own hands. We were leaning wildly to one side. We had a scare. That was how it almost ended for us at Dollywood. It was very scary. Thankfully, the guys are safe and sound because Little Mix kick off their summer hits tour next month. And my gay Twitter is telling me that we're getting a new song this month. In other music news, Camille Cabello danced with an LGBT rainbow flag at her gig in London last night. Snap, snap. And Demi Lovato's now had to cancel more UK tour dates after swollen vocal cords and tweeted, this seriously sucks. Haven't left my hotel room in two days now. Sick, bored and bummed out. Demi, just whack on Jezza Kyle like the rest of us and get well soon. Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson are apparently engaged after just 25-ish days of us even knowing they were together. Yes, Queen! Us Weekly confirms the big Ari and Pete engagement news via multiple sources who apparently witnessed the announcement and they said, quote, they are very in love. And although we can't buy a sorting hat just yet, maybe we can. Ariana hit Twitter straight after saying, I love you, and then seemingly confirmed her engagement by hitting like on loads of tweets from fans going wild, including this one from TZ Butterer, who tweeted, Honest to God, our girl is engaged. I can't deal with the Harry Potter themed wedding that we're all going to be invited to. Ariana, Pete, we are greedy for your love. Millie Bobby Brown has deleted her Twitter account after she became a viral homophobic meme. Basically, people have been photoshopping incredibly offensive slurs against the LGBTQ community onto pictures of her, making it look like she Snapchatted the hate herself. Or they'd tweet that they'd bumped into Millie and she'd done something really awful in the name of homophobia, often accompanied by the hashtag take down Millie Bobby Brown. We're not going to show them because honestly, why feed the trolls? But you've got an imagination and slash or Google. The internet is mean enough already. Why feel the hate when there are so many beautiful, hilarious, completely innocent memes out there. Miley Cyrus has jumped to the defense of Selena Gomez after she was seriously insulted by Stefano Gabbana. Earlier this week, a collage of Selena was posted on the Catwalk Italia's Instagram feed. But as we all know, Instagram comment sections are a bit like a graveyard. Do a little bit of digging and you'll find something smelly. Oh my god. Goodness me, I'm sorry about that. Here, we find Italian designer Stefano Gabbana commenting I proprio bruta, which translates to She's so ugly. <sighs> I'll be honest, it sounded nice in Italian. Fortunately, Selena's good friend Miley has come to the rescue, commenting underneath a photo of both of them hugging. Right, are you sure I'm allowed to say this? Sure? Okay. Well, what that said, if it's true, false. And totally she's fine as Well said.